thing. And I was absolutely broken inside. I gotta do it for myself. Uh huh. Teacher said I gotta do it. I'm gonna be crazy. You gotta help me. Like, I'm Selena, but we're watching Disney Channel. When I was seven, I wanted to be an actress, and I wanted to live my dream. And when I was 11, I had a casting director tell me that I wasn't strong enough to carry my own show. Mason told Juliet that he loved her, <laughs> right in front of me. Two years later, I got my own show, and the first thought, the first thought wasn't, oh man, that girl when I was 11 said I wouldn't carry my own show, and I did. I mean, I thought about that for a little bit, but I thought about what my mom said. My mom was like, you have to trust yourself, and I realized if I didn't believe that I could do it, I wouldn't be able to be here. I lost sight of who I was. I listened to opinions of people and I tried to change who I am because I thought that others would accept me for it. And I realized I don't know how to be anything but myself. I'm surrounded by people who are supposed to guide me and some of them have and others haven't. They pressure me. There's so much pressure. You gotta be sexy, you gotta be cute, you gotta be nice, you gotta be all these things. They tell me what to wear, how to look, what I should say, how I should be. I had to stop, because I, I had everything, and I was absolutely broken inside. And I kept it all together enough to where I would never let you down, but I kept it too much together to where I let myself down. I don't want to see your bodies on Instagram. I want to see what's in here. And she told me she was two weeks away from kidney failure. My kidneys were just done. It was, that was it. And I didn't want to ask a single person in my life. And that was the day I came home when I found out. And she volunteered and did it. And let alone somebody wanting to volunteer, it is incredibly difficult to find a match. The thought of asking somebody to do that was really difficult for me. The fact that she was a match, I mean, that's unbelievable. That's not real. You feel that Francia saved your life? Because she did. It got to a point where it was life or death. Thankfully, one of my best friends gave me her kidney, and it was the ultimate gift of life. And I'm doing very well now, thankfully. Two of my doctors are actually here with their beautiful partners and I just want to say thank you so much because it feels good to actually be honoring people like you where in my world it can seem kind of vain but this is really, really special. So, not, um, okay, sorry. To be honest, I think Francis should be getting this award because um, she saved my life. <laughs> sorry. I've never felt this proud to be a woman in the industry than I do today. And that's because I actually feel comfortable with every single woman that has encouraged me. I couldn't be here without any of you, so thank you for all of you that have inspired so many girls who don't feel like they have a voice. I am very, very lucky. I love you guys, and uh, thank you, Bill Ford. Thank you to my team and my four-year-old sister, Gracie. I love you. And thank you to these beautiful women. Um, I don't know how I'll ever repay it, but maybe I'll make an epic album next year for you guys and everyone else. <laughs> well, a huge part of why I wanted to be a part of, of this is to also be a voice for so many people. So just think about the life that I've been given and how blessed I am. <laughs> My hope is that I see change. I just think you are wonderful. And I want you to stay. I love, love, love my fans very much. Um, and I think 
It's not that I love them because they love me. I love them because, or you, if you're watching it, uh, because it's really been about the journey. And I feel like I grew up with a lot of people. And the, the most heartbreaking conversations are where they're just telling me that they're suffering or, you know, it's some of it's like, you know, been, been, I just don't, I never understood it. When people would say it saved my life, I just didn't understand that. And I always just like, I wish I could just grab every single one of them in their face and just tell them how loved they are, how important they are, how they're capable of absolutely anything. And if I did all of this, and I'm just a girl from Texas, and it's still happening for me, you could do anything. And I've had a lot of moments where people were not having it. And, you know, they build you up to, to just break you down. But I would just say that that I would say that you're beautiful and that you're exactly where you're meant to be, whatever that looks like. Even if it's so hard, you're, you're worth, you're worth it. And you always have to choose yourself. Um, and I love them very much. Okay. That's why I got Papa, though. Yeah, that's why you got Papa.